she goes, I know that she knows, no limit she craves, attention she praises, an image she prays to be sculpted by the sculpt. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am here reviewing yet another wig from AF Sister Wig, okay? So, you know, usually I have the box, but I have seemed to misplace the box. But um, I'm just gonna like insert a picture of what the box would look like um, because I have reviewed for their company before. But in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about this amazing wig that I have on. And I never come on here with ponytails, y'all. So this is definitely out my comfort zone. And this is not like a ponytail type of wig. Like I just, since it's a 370 wig, I just wanted to, you know, show off the fact that you could actually put this in a legit ponytail and did not look crazy. You feel me? So basically what they said a 360 wig was, they said that it combines the structure of a 13 by six lace frontal wig and the structures of a 360 wig. And I guess somehow they got 370. Actually my first time hearing about a 370 wig, um, I was like, what? I thought it was a typo, but as I was reading the email, like, they said it multiple times. I was like, okay, this must be something new. So I decided to try this wig and I'm just gonna basically be telling you all the details about this wig because so many people have been asking me about it. Um, I actually installed it the correct way because I have did 360 wigs before but I never like apply them right because like I can't see the back of my head. But with this one, it's kind of butchered a little bit y'all so don't even judge me. But I got it to stick a little bit. I keep having to like reapply the glue sometimes, you know, cause it be lifting a little bit, you know. Um, but for the most part, it's staying down. So as you can see on the screen, the lace has invisible knots. Um, it also comes with an elastic band, um, the kind that I like, y'all already know. It also comes with the knots pre-plucked. They aren't bleached, so I went ahead and bleached the knots myself. And you know how I'm extra, so I decided that I wanted to pluck the hairline some more, just so I could look more natural. So that's what I did. And then I just installed it. Now, it took me three hours to install this simply because I'm a perfectionist. And like I said, the back, like since I didn't have anyone here to help me, the back was really hard to install for me because I could not see. You know, I need both hands so I couldn't hold a mirror and like look in the mirror because I need like I needed all my hands. So I'm just going to turn around and honestly, honestly, truly, um, I'm not sure how it's looking, but I hope it's looking presentable because I'm presenting. <laughs> you feel me? So I'm going to turn around and, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Mm. All right. So this is the side, this is how the side is looking. I am disgusted. And that is just how we are looking. I applied this like I apply all of my wigs. I use the Ghost Bun XL and I haven't ventured out to try new glue because Ghost Bun works for me for the, for the, for the most part um i have seen some glue that's like waterproof on twitter but it's not like super out there like ghost mind is you know what i mean so i don't want to just try something that's gonna like give me an allergic reaction or something that's gonna break my skin out is that the same thing yes same thing um yeah i don't want to try anything that you know is not raved about don't mean to be like a bandwagon type person. But you know, like I don't be knowing people be putting in their stuff and they be making this stuff at home or whatever. So it is what it is. So I guess I can take it out the ponytail so I can show y'all like the parting space. Cause it does have six inches of parting space, which is really good y'all. Like this wig is like, I don't know. I don't want to wear it in any other style but a ponytail simply because I know the aspect I think I don't know yet. I feel like I know the aspect of the 360 or 370 part, like getting it to stay with the glue. You know what I mean? Cause it's just like, it looks kind of natural y'all. Like, I just feel like so many people was like, come through natural hair. I'm like, it's a wig. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna take it out the ponytail and I'm just gonna show you the parting space on it really fast. 
No tangles, came straight out the pony. The inch on this is 20 inches. Um, since I know it's gonna be like a 360, I didn't want anything too long because I already knew that I was gonna put this mug up. I already knew that it was gonna go in a ponytail. Just, I just already knew it. The parting space is not really prominent because I haven't like parted it. It's just been slicked back. So you can't really see that the parting space, but it does have six inches of parting space. And it's not really definite or like defined because I haven't plucked it. So if I like wanted to do a middle part, I would part it, you know, get a flat iron or a pressing comb and, you know, like make it flat. Cause basically if I just do a middle part, just doing a middle part, you know, I would have to pluck it and like create a part because it's not there. But I just wanted to show you guys how you can part it. This is the length. It's 20 inches, not really long. And this is a straight wig, it came straight. I'm just gonna show you how I do my ponytail like really quickly. So I just take this kind of brush because I feel like this brush gets like, it just, you know, pulls it together. So I'm just gonna brush it back. And if you wanted to do a bun, um, all you would have to do is, this is how I do my buns. Um, I do ponytails first, sometimes. You know, just take it. Wrap it around. This is gonna be like a top knot. You can honestly do any of this, all that with the wig. And I left this part out because I wanted it to look like more natural. And um, I don't know, it's kind of long. I would definitely recommend this if you want to try the 370 wig. The hair is bomb. Um, it's straight hair, it's 20 inches, and it's been no shedding, like no shedding whatsoever. The ends come like this. I didn't trim it or clip it or anything. They're like tapered or whatever, is that what it's called? It doesn't look fake, it looks more natural. It's on the natural side. The knots are invisible. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.